the Creality Sprite Extruder on the CR10 Max actually went on pretty well. Not as bad as what it is on a CR10. Um, the stuff is technically plug and play, but on the breakout board, the original breakout board uses connectors that have a clip. And the ones that come with the Sprite just have the little plug at the end with the lock pin. So you can actually pop those out using a little pin tool, push it back, take out the pins and put them right into the original, and then they plug right in, no problem. And that's true for everything except for the heater. So the, the heater cartridge for um, the Sprite, you have to actually solder it together if you want to use the original connector. So I just cut it and then splice these on, soldered them on, and there's some tape on there, as well as the um, cooling fan. So this is the um, cooling fan for the block, which just says fan. So that one uses a different connector than what uh, the Sprite comes with, but the K-Fan or the controllable fan uses a connector, so that plugs right in. So those are the only two modifications you have to make. Keep in mind uh, the Sprite currently has an issue whereas if you use the small CR Touch plug that goes from the CR Touch to the back motherboard, um, for some reason it doesn't work. I'm not sure why, but it's a pretty common issue on everything that I know of that it's connected to, including uh, the Ender 3s. None of those work. So you have to run the long CR Touch cable that comes with it all the way back to the motherboard. But uh, that also is plug and play on the Max. And it's a separate cable down here on this ribbon cable. And uh, it's interesting, at first I thought it didn't fit because this clip isn't all down all the way. But then I retried the original and the original does the same thing. So yeah, as as usual uh, on the Sprite, there's some extra connectors that don't go to anything and they're not labeled. They haven't really said what they are. So yeah, don't use the CR Touch, it probably doesn't work. Use the original cable, take that up to the front. And uh, so far it's worked, my first print came out good uh, enough for PETG but you will have to PID tune your hot end because uh, it will be off so yeah this is the first one that I've seen documented uh, good luck everybody